How often have you asked out loud, I wish I had an AI model that responded only in emojis? Like every day, right? I know, and for some reason, the team building Olama hasn't listened. Insanity. So we're going to fix that today. And in the process, you'll learn how to convert and quantize a model. It's, it's not hard, but it also takes a bit of effort to get it going. And maybe some false starts. And, and it doesn't always work. So the first step is finding the right model. Let's go up to Hugging Face. Up top, I'll search for emoji and then show all the models. Now, I don't wanna create an emoji, that would be silly. I wanna do text generation, but with emoji. So select text generation over on the side. And the first result is Open Hermes Emojitron 001. Perfect. Scroll down and this seems to be exactly what we want. Exactly what everyone needs. Now go to the Files tab and click on the config.json file. Notice the architecture is Mistral for Causal LM. That's good. That's one of the architectures supported. We should download the model now, but I've always had trouble just downloading the files the normal way with Git. It's slow, it seems, on my machine. So I really like Hugging Face Downloader by Boda A. You can grab the executable for the releases and get it installed. There's also a shell script to install it as well if you want to do that. I have a folder off my user's root called bin, so I just throw it in there. Okay, so go to the repo on Hugging Face and click the copy icon next to the repo name. And now go to wherever you want your models to be downloaded to and run hfdownloader-s.-m and paste the repo name. Press enter. Those files are downloading, so now let's get the conversion process working. Make sure Docker is installed and running on your system. And then in a different terminal, run docker pull olama slash quantize. How's the Hugging Face downloader process going? We need to wait for the model to download, so I'll speed on to that being done. Okay, here we are, back again. Here we are in the folder we ran that command in. Move into the directory created for the raw model. We need to run docker run dash dash rm dash v dot colon slash model olama slash quantize. This is not going to work, but it shows us something we need. Docker run will run an image to create a new container on your system. Dash dash rm removes the container once the process is complete. Dash v dot colon slash model tells Docker to mount a volume. Take whatever's in the current directory, represented by the dot, and mount it in the container as slash model. Olama slash quantize is the image we want to run. And then the command that is being run inside the container takes two parameters. First dash Q specifies the quantization. And that's why I wanted the command to fail. We need to know which quantization to use. The fastest to run and the best compromise in performance and quality is usually Q4 underscore zero. So run that Docker run command again, adding dash Q, Q4 underscore zero slash model to the end. I'll try to remember to put the full command down in the description, but I'm sure someone's gonna call me out on forgetting. If everything works and the model is configured correctly, then we should see a lot of activity. The model is first being converted to GDUF format, and then it's being quantized to 4-bit. Quantization simply means that the 7 billion 32-bit floating point numbers are being quantized to 4-bit integers. To visualize this, I need some cool graphics, and I'm working on that before making a video about quantization. There are now two new files in here, f16.bin, which is the converted model, and q 4bin which is the 4-bit quantized GGUF model file. This second file is often referred to as the model weights, but it's kind of useless without the template, possibly a system prompt, and maybe some parameters. We can make a guess about the template, but it's best to, if we look in the Hugging Face README. There isn't a standard way of showing this, so there may be some sleuthing that we need to do. Down here at prompt format, it says, Open Hermes Emojitron 001 uses ChatML as the prompt format, just like Open Hermes 2.5. It also appears to handle Mistral format great, especially since I use that for the fine tune. Oops. 
I wish they put the format in here, but now we have to figure out what Mistral uses since that's what the fine tune was based on. The easiest way to do this is to go to Olamida AI, click models, and then search for Mistral. Now click tags and choose the first one. Scroll down and we see the template. inst.system.prompt inst. All those brackets are very important. So let's open a code editor. I'm using Vim just to keep it simple. The first line is the from instruction, from dot slash q4 underscore zero dot bin. Next, we need a template. I'll copy that template from the olama.ai website and paste it in here. And that's the minimum we need. So exit out and create the model. Olama create Emojitron. Since we're in the same directory as the model file and it's called model file, we don't need to specify it. Now, Olama run Emojitron. Hi and we get an emoji, followed by a control phrase, I am end. What is the meaning of life? We get some emojis and that I am end again. Okay, let's get out of here and edit that model file again. I'll copy the I am end text so I can paste it in. Now add parameter stop and paste in the text. Exit out and run the create command again. Now do olama run again. What is the meaning of life? Cool. Create a recipe for spicy mayo. Nice. What is a black hole? Oh yeah, Neil deGrasse Tyson, your job is mine. And now for the biggest challenge that some of us will ever face. How are babies made? Explain like I am five. Awesome, I love that baby comes soon that you see at the end. That worked perfectly. It doesn't always work perfectly. We used a Docker image to do the conversion and quantization, but that was removed from the docs recently. Maybe it doesn't work as reliably for most models. So there's the older process, which is more manual. It involves cloning the Olama repo and using the Llama CPP submodule, then creating the quantize command and running the Python scripts yourself. So that means getting a working Python environment, which is always a pain in the butt. You can find the instructions for the process here in the repo and scroll down to importing PyTorch and save tensors. But first check the architecture in config.json file. Unfortunately, I don't think the architecture supported is actually documented, but you can probably guess some of them. Sometimes the output is going to complain about something and suggest a command line parameter. That won't work using the Docker method, so you have to manually run the steps. I've had that a few times with needing to pad the size of something. Add the parameter and it worked just fine. The next challenge is always the template. Sometimes model makers state the template, but often they just seem to assume that you're gonna know. And so you have to try a bunch. And you can often figure out the base models, then either look up their readmes or look at the model on olama.ai, then get the formats for Llama 2, Mistral, Open Hermes, and others, and just try each one, hoping to get a match. So now you have a model and you wanna share it with others, right? You'll need a namespace to do that. If you don't already have one set up, then go to Alameda AI and click the sign in button. Below your credentials, there's a create account link. Enter your email, a username, and a password. Make sure you set the email address to something that you're gonna have access to forever. Using a work account is great until you don't work there anymore. The username I think has to be three or four characters or more. There is only one exception to that, mine. Okay, once you've done that, you'll see the instructions to add your public key to Olama. Now this looks like an SSH key, but it isn't. Make sure you grab the public key from your .olama directory. Next, we need to rename our model because Emojitron doesn't have a namespace. So Olama CP Emojitron, and then your namespace, which for me is just a letter M, and then slash Emojitron. If you rename yours to M slash Emojitron, you won't be able to push it up because you don't have my key. I hope. Now you can push the model. Olama push m slash Emojitron, and the model will upload. This takes, well, however long your internet connection takes. Once that's done, you should edit the short description for the model, and then edit the longer description for the model. Now share with the world your incredible achievement, win incredible glory, and retire tomorrow with your share of the world's money. Simple. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to cover in these videos. I love making them, and I can't wait to see your comments down below, pointing me to your new models. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.